These are the 7 ways this setting can affect your 3D prints. Number 1. You can speed up your 3D prints, but the quality will go down. Save some time with bigger layers for the prints that don't need vertical resolution. Number 2. It's the exact opposite. In case you need that vertical resolution, slow down your prints and your quality will go up. You get the best of both worlds by using adaptive layer height. This will save you some time, but make sure those curvy lines are printed with smaller layer heights. Overhangs with steeper layer lines will benefit from lower layer heights, reducing the risk of drooping or sagging when printing without support. Thicker bridges print better. Based on the previous points, you may or may not need to use supports, so test it out before using the filament to print the supports. Last but not least, layer height will determine the strength of your 3D print. For stronger prints, rotate them accordingly in the slicer. A good rule of thumb is to keep the layer height between 25 and 75 percent of the nozzle's diameter. Be sure to do some testing so you find the sweet spots for your printer. Now that you know all this, you can make better slicing decisions. Happy printing!